A raging wildfire dubbed the Saddle Ridge Fire burning out of control after erupting Thursday night on the northern edge of Los Angeles in the San Fernando Valley area. Thousands have been forced from their homes. The blaze threatening several neighborhoods, dozens of buildings already damaged. By Friday morning, the fast moving, wind driven fire had grown to 18 square kilometers and was 0% contained. Firefighters battling flames from the air and the ground. Much of Northern California, from San Francisco to the Oregon border, placed under a red flag fire alert. According to state authorities, such a warning is issued for weather events which may result in extreme fire behavior that will occur within 24 hours. In Southern California, the Sandalwood Fire destroying homes in Riverside County. A series of wildfires have broken out across the state late this week. Officials say hot, gusty winds are signaling the start of California's peak fire season. And a step on an unprecedented scale taken this week by California's largest utility, PG&E, cutting electricity to more than 700,000 homes and businesses. The move, all in an effort to prevent wildfires. In recent years, some of the state's most devastating fires were sparked by damage to power lines from high winds. The street lights aren't working, and that's a little eerie. And there's people screaming here because the, the, they can't get gas. In Northern California, some traffic lights are out too, forcing drivers to treat intersections like four-way stops. Some business owners getting creative to keep their stores open. We use the car battery to power up our POS system and our open sign, so that way our neighborhood, our regular customer can get their things they need from us. Now, one person very frustrated by the plant outages is California's Governor Gavin Newsom, who says it is the company's failure to maintain its system. That's the reason why there is this plant outage. Now, in a tweet, he says the power shutoffs by PG&E are not a story of climate change. It's a story of greed and mismanagement, of recklessness and putting profits before people. It's outrageous and unacceptable.